You'd be surprised to find out the life-changing discoveries a person can make just by browsing Google Maps. Like this guy, who found a suspicious crater and might have made a major scientific discovery. In 2024, Canadian Joël Lupoin was planning a casual camping trip in his homeland. He opened Google Earth and zoomed in Quebec's Côte Nord region. That's when he saw it, this unusual rounded structure. The measurement was impressive, 9.3 miles from one point to another, and there seemed to be a lake next to it. He was quick to print the screen and sent the image to a French geophysicist to see if he knew anything about it. Most times these images turn out to be nothing or simply Google Earth watermarks. But he was surprised when he opened his email and saw the scientist's reply. The geophysicist said that, judging by the looks of the topography, Lapointe could have discovered a meteor impact area. Now, impact areas are really hard to identify. Since they've been around for millions of years, most of their shapes have been heavily changed by erosion. Scientists call these areas impact structures. They're usually circular or crater-like, and are made up of deformed bedrock. It happens when a meteor falls into the surface of the Earth. Here's the thing. Since the crater has huge walls around it, these areas are usually mistaken for mountain ranges. That's what left the Canadian explorer confused. But the French geophysicist that analyzed the case gave him hope. That weird formation in Quebec had been classified as a type of volcanic formation. After Le Point brought this subject back to the agenda, Scientists had to dig a little deeper to find the truth. Until this recent discovery, scientists thought the area looked like that due to some volcanic formation. This is actually normal, since other things such as volcanism and sinkholes can be mistaken for impact craters. To verify, they asked for some samples of the site. This is a more reliable way to fact-check whether a meteor landed there or not. When the meteor hits the Earth, it brings different types of minerals from outer space. That's the wonderful thing about impact craters. They reveal a link between Earth and the outside universe. By now, scientists have cataloged most of the minerals that are native to our planet. When they're searching for an impact structure, they usually look for things such as tenite and chemosite, which can only be found in meteors. The biggest known impact crater in the world is the Vredefort Crater, located in South Africa. This big thing was formed some 4 billion years ago. The asteroid that made it is estimated to have been one of the largest ever to strike planet Earth. When the researchers got the results of the site back in Canada, they did confirm that it contained zircon, a mineral that tends to show areas of impact. There's no way to guarantee that Le Point really found an impact crater, but scientists are organizing a research mission over to the area just to make sure. If it turns out that it really is an impact crater, that's pretty huge news, since the last discovery was made in 2013. Another one of these mesmerizing discoveries came from a 15-year-old boy. William Goddery was also a Canadian and, for some reason, loved looking for long-lost Mayan cities. Different from the previous story, William had an intention and a research methodology. He had studied many books on Mayan civilizations. He believed that Mayans built their cities in relation to the stars in the sky. So he opened a book and mapped all the cities that have already been unearthed. And that's when he noticed something important. There is an area in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico where archaeologists have unearthed two Mayan cities. But on the constellation map, there are three stars. He thought to himself, could this mean there is a lost city waiting to be discovered nearby? William Gannery is known to be a science genius and has even won an award for this constellation theory. When he noticed that a third city was missing from the 23rd constellation he was examining, he began to search Google Earth for satellite pictures that could help him solve this mystery. Advances in satellite tech have shed new light on long-lost Mayan cities such as Tikal. Located in the heart of the Guatemalan jungle, Tikal is believed to have been the capital of the ancient Mayan Empire. He had hopes, so he reached out to a friend inside the Canadian Space Agency to verify what he had found. Since he had already won awards for his research, he had friends in high places. And that's when things got interesting. According to the images, there was a large square area on the border of Mexico and Belize that looked like the remains of a city. William took the images to a remote sensing expert. 
They studied the images thoroughly and concluded that the area could be housing 30 buildings and even a large pyramid. William named the new city he discovered as Mouth of Fire. However, his story was very much contested inside the archaeological community, and many Mayan experts worked to debunk William's findings. Experts say that constellation theories are too unscientific. Renowned anthropologists and astronomers said William's methodology was an act of creative imagination. Still, a 15-year-old teen almost found a long-lost Mayan city, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. What about these tiny dots that appeared on images of Google Earth? These strange spotted circles were found in the middle of the Algerian desert. A YouTuber browsing on Google Earth found these circles and discovered that people had been debating over their origin for years. He thought they were a glitch from satellite images. There are dozens of them stretching for miles and miles in a straight line. They're far away from any town, road, or human activity, making it hard to understand if it was man-made or just a natural phenomenon. To settle this mystery, he interviewed the people who took Google Earth's pictures. He found out they were 100% true. The circles were there in real life. They appear in multiple pictures from multiple years. Now, at first, he guessed they were the result of oil activity. Algeria is a rich area for natural resources, so this made sense. To find out if the area is worth extracting, companies usually undertake seismic surveys. They're a way of analyzing the Earth's surface by sending shock waves into the ground. Depending on how these waves bounce back, you'll know what is located underground. There was another possibility. The Sahara is a very dry area of the planet. The average high temperatures in summer are over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. To survive there, people need to find ways of accessing water. So his second guess was that the circles were a kind of ruin or leftover from ancient water wells. But when he talked to an expert, he found out they weren't ancient water wells. You can see some of these traditional constructions in other cities on Google Earth, and they look really different from the mysterious circles. He decided to travel over to Algeria to find out the truth. He drove 99 miles into the heart of the desert, and when he gets there, he sees it. A huge crater dug on the sand, surrounded by 12 smaller holes. It kind of looked like the ancestor of a modern clock. There, he found something he couldn't spot on Google Earth – thin metal wires. When the curious YouTuber and his teams started to dig in the sand, they found old dynamite and some sardine cans. Apparently, they were hiding the truth. The Sahara Circles, as they were famously called, were not the historical leftovers of seismic surveying. Back at the time when these circles were made, this technology didn't even exist. But they were sure related to oil exploration. The dynamite holes were an ancient method of oil searching. And the sardine cans? Well, they were left by the workers who were exploring the region. Another Google Earth mystery solved. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.